Chicago already has some of the toughest gun laws in the country. This week, Mayor Rahm Emanuel called for making them even tougher with mandatory minimum sentences for gun violations. Would that work? Dean Reynolds takes a look. Zuzu! There you go, right there! Right there! Right there. Last December, minutes after he allegedly shot at a neighbor... A man with a gun, man with a gun. Julian Gales was caught by Chicago police. Slow down, we got the guy. Gales, 22, already had a record of gun crimes and parole violations, but little time behind bars. What did I do, sir? Since 2009, he's been sentenced to seven years in jail, but has served just two. He was on parole when we witnessed his arrest by police commander Leo Schmitz. Get him in the car. Check him very thoroughly. And is now in custody again, awaiting trial. Chicago Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy wants such offenders to face a mandatory minimum sentence. This has to stop. Gun offenders have to do significant jail time. But Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart wonders where. You don't have enough cells. Oh, God, no. I mean, we are at capacity right now. The state prison system is beyond capacity. You talk to them right now, they haven't had a population like this in decades, and there's no place to put them. So what are you in on? Just straight possession? Dart runs the largest county jail in the country, nearly 10,000 inmates. So you got 300 people in a former cafeteria. Yeah. You got people in the hospital sleeping on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is, um, you know, not something that you would design. Frankly, at this time, this should be a building that we should have empty right now, at this time of year, should be no one in it. But because of our population explosion, this is full. Experts say the prison population would swell by thousands if mandatory minimum sentences came to pass for gun violations. We just can't have this irrational type of notion that there's magic jail cells all over the place that we can just put people that are all sitting there empty. It's as if all of a sudden we just raise penalties and these people get shipped off to the moon or something. It's like, no, we know where we need to put them and we need money to, to fund that. But Illinois doesn't have the money, uh, Anthony, and has actually been closing prisons to save money and is hoping that by saving money it can get out of the budget spiral where it owes $9 billion in unpaid bills right now. All right, Dean Reynolds in Chicago. Thanks, Dean.